Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. An analysis by South Australia's Advertiser newspaper shows the combined cost of utility bills for the average household in the state will be over $3,200 this financial year. This figure is a 16% jump on last financial year. The biggest contributor to the increase comes from electricity, with the average regulated bill having risen to over $1,500. With solar rebates to reduce as of July this year and more electricity price hikes to come, South Australians thinking of turning to solar power should do so sooner rather than later. Construction of the initial stage of what will be Australia's largest solar farm has begun. The first stage involves the construction of a 2 megawatt facility in Mildura and is scheduled to be completed late this year. The installation will be made up of 60 solar dish systems. The facility is being constructed by Solar Systems, a subsidiary of Silex Systems Limited, and will be a total of 100 megawatt in capacity, assuming satisfactory performance of the initial stage. The Victorian Treasurer has directed the Victorian Competition and Efficiency Commission to conduct an inquiry into feed-in tariff arrangements in the state. The inquiry will recommend whether existing feed-in tariffs should be continued, phased out or amended. Currently, Victorians thinking of going solar would benefit from the transitional feed-in tariff, which pays 25 cents per kilowatt hour for surplus electricity fed back into the grid. The tariff is applicable to systems with a capacity of 5 kilowatts or less and will be paid to participants for five years. Just a decade ago, only a quarter of Queensland homes were air-conditioned, usually by a single unit. Today, there are 1.6 million air conditioners installed in 74% of homes. All over Australia, there has been a massive rise in air conditioning usage. This has had major ramifications for Australia's electricity infrastructure and is partially responsible for more peak power plants needed to cope with the extra load. The electricity produced by these power stations is incredibly expensive, costing around $12.50 per kilowatt hour wholesale. The uptake of rooftop solar power can help reduce the demand for peak power. In New South Wales, for example, home solar has delayed the need for construction of new peak load plants, pegged at costing around $1 billion each. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.